Not like fucking Caleb Williams out here with beats and shit. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to swear. Yeah, yeah you can say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, fuck you, all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm definitely superstitious about my coffee. Yeah. They're, they're not bad. It's just like sometimes I f- like, I'm superstitious. Like if I have one, I play bad. I'm like, shit. Right. I, I did a little Money Manziel the other day. I think I might start doing that. <laughs> that's hard, dude. I've been that's thinking hard. about bringing that yeah, out. Yeah, that yeah. might be my thing. I had to so. wait till he popped off to do that. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. It's hit or miss, dude. Yeah. You can, get, you can get a great burrito or you can see like some dude butt naked just walking down the street. What, you, you do some thirst traps? <laughs> no, oh, no. Dude. I do straight yeah, football yeah, content. Yeah, yeah. National yeah. champs. Let's get it. Yeah, we need to make that run this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Add another parade down Fig. That'd be nice. That'd be lit. Sideline, he's across the 30 to the 40. He's able to fend off the defender and bring in the game's first touchdown. Yeah, so what is that podcast called? It's called like Momentum. I don't know. Who are you thinking is going to win that John Jones Tyson thing? Um, I think Dwayne I mean, Tyson's just a freak of nature. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it's a street fight, bro. Yeah. How big is John Jones? Like yeah. 200 pounds? He's uh, since like 240. The issue is, John Jones, what, like, uh, he's not a heavyweight, is he? He's a, uh, like, no, class so. light heavyweight, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing. Who'd you say? Oh, he might be a heavyweight. I said John Jones, easy. Or easy? actually, no. I said this. Because if Mike lands one punch, yeah. Yeah. it's wraps. How right? much bigger is Mike? Mike's not even a huge guy, though, bro. He's like 240, though. Is he? Yes. What is he, like 6'2"? No. Like he's Mike like Tyson? 5'11". Dude, I don't oh, he's that small. Yeah, yeah, I think he's short, bro. He's like, yeah, he's like a little... Oh, then I'd probably take John Jones. Yeah. For sure. Especially because of length. You just got to take him to the ground and it's over, yeah. right? Yeah, because he has no experience, yeah. probably. Dude, I wanted Jeez. to go to that uh, UFC fight in Anaheim. It I looked know. sick, dude. It Ooh, was, I uh, forgot who was fighting that night. And Ganu and Gain. The heavy yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Those are some heavy And then that's a scary guy. <laughs> Those are dudes, some scary bro. dudes, man. Um, yeah. Dude, that looked like a lot of fun. Um, what's his name? Uh, and Ganu. He wants to do boxing now, too. Yeah. He wants to fight Fury. He wants to fight Fury, yeah. Because Ngannou, I think, has got a lot of issues with Dana White over, like, some UFC pain. Yeah, the pain and all that. I mean, a lot of them, dude. A lot of those guys do. They don't make yeah. enough. Dude, what, what are you doing if he just like starts coming up and talking to your girl? In God, <laughs> like right in front of you. Yeah, just like doesn't even like acknowledge you. Just like at the bar, like yeah. you just with her. He's like, hey, buddy, sorry. And he moves you out of the way and just starts like hitting on her right he, in front of he's you. He's probably a nice guy, but I'm not kidding. That might be him. raps. I might have to say, like, yeah, hey, it's all I you, bro. Did, like, <laughs> it's all you. What, do you, what can you do? I mean, you can try to fight him and yeah. then it just looks worse. Dude, that's right. like that, the Baylor D lineman. Remember that was the oh, Sean Oakman. Yeah, yeah, Sean Oakman. <laughs> uh, heads or tails, we want the ball. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> He's a beast. Um, all right, let's let's introduce you, brother Drew. Thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, yeah. playing on the the basketball team here. Y'all been balling out. Twenty two uh, and four. Good 22 start. Twenty two and four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. killing it. Uh, awesome. What do y'all rank? Top seventeen. You said seventeen right now. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going into March Madness, that'll be huge. You know, we're shooting for a high seed. Got to finish strong, but yeah, we're excited. You know, hopefully we can create some magic like last year. Yeah, so maybe that. Dude, tell me about that UCLA game. You went off, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was definitely crazy. Obviously, uh, you know, rivalry game. Isaiah's out. Um, we find that out the day of the game. Um, you know, it was kind of questionable game time decision and uh, concussion. Couldn't go. You know, it's hard with that stuff. Your head's out of it. But, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, we just had to have, you know, someone obviously, you know, step up, fill that role. Someone's got to score, stuff like that. And thankfully, it was my night. Shots were falling and... Uh, you know, it was a bit surreal. It's honestly a little bit of a blur just because, you know, when you're in that, you know, you kind of so, black out mentally. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy, but that was awesome. It was an awesome win, and, you know, we've won five straight versus them now. So, uh, you know, hey, it's big for the it's big for the rivalry. For yeah. Sure. Was that the biggest game you've played in in terms of maybe atmosphere? You played in bigger, like, stakes-wise, but, I mean, there was – a line that yeah, you were saying that was wrapping around a Starbucks around the yeah, corner, man. I mean, like an hour and a half. Yeah. Two hour line at halftime. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's yeah, crazy. no, that definitely. One of the craziest? Yeah, I mean, I was driving down, uh, what is that? Figaro. Street behind Fig. That's a uh, one way. What's that? Um, I don't know. Flower. Uh, flower. flower. Yeah. And I saw the line wrapping all the way around as I was coming in and, you know, pulling in. Crazy. I mean, it was awesome. You know, I've never seen like that many fans and, uh, you know, we packed the whole arena, I think 10,000 people, whatever. Yeah, dude. Um, but, you know, that's obviously UCLA. Um, those are the two games we circle on every year in the calendar. So, it uh, you know, it sucked to have Isaiah out, but, you know, we all came with a bunch of energy, and um, just the atmosphere was so cool. Every time, you know, someone hit a shot or took a yeah, charge, something so like that, good. everyone's going crazy. It's yeah. it, it's awesome to get that support, and definitely my first uh, court storming experience. It was, awesome. 
It was just nuts. That's lit. It was nuts. Is, yeah. Is there anything that you do like pregame to kind of like lock in? Is there anything you do specifically or anything? Nothing crazy except you know I get my routine coffee. Um, big iced coffee, Starbucks guy. You get black or what you get with all the sugar? Cream and sugar. Yeah. Nothing too cream crazy. Sugar, I don't like yeah. all like the crazy frappe, like, you know, um, TikTok um, stuff you yeah, see. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, a good cream and sugar, you know. Yeah. it's a, Extra it, shot or not? You just keep it basic? Keep it basic. You know, I've tried like those, you know, little espresso shots, but I'm not a fan. Yeah. Um, but I'm definitely superstitious about my coffee for sure. You have to have that before games? Yeah, I definitely have to have it. I don't like getting all the crazy stuff. Like uh, sometimes on away games, if I can't find a good coffee spot, I'll drink the, those cans of like nitro cold brew from Starbucks. Uh, those whatever. aren't bad though. I, I like those. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. It's just like sometimes I like I'm super serious. Like if I have one, I play bad. I'm like, Shit, like right. Yeah. It gets, it gets <laughs> in your head. Too, exactly. Dude. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Are you like a only go to Starbucks, or is it like you try to find local spots? Well, I'll find some local spots. But I remember, you know, I played shit against Arizona, and I found some local spot. I forgot what it was called. Um, but I had a, I had regularized coffee, just didn't play well. So yeah. I, I, obviously I'm, I'm blaming it on that. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's, that's freaking the only Tucson, reason. Bro. I yeah. mean, it's like uh, <laughs> it's like when MJ and, uh, with the whole Utah thing when they said they he drugged his pizza or something yeah, for the flu yeah, game or whatever what I'm that was. Saying, bro. Um, you can't so, trust those Tucson yeah, coffee shops. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's a go to. So if I could find a Starbucks, that's why I like playing at Utah every year because they got a Starbucks right in the lobby. Oh, that's oh, lit! Spectacular. That's, that's the shit. Right He's there, going yeah. crazy. He's going crazy. I walk in and I'm like. Yeah, we're sad. Here we go. <laughs> so bet the over on your points when yeah, you play Utah. That's good enough. Huh? Yeah, 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 no yeah. comment. No, no comment. Yeah. You know? But yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. I love playing there. So, but it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Matt and I were talking about this. Craziest person that hits you up after UCLA game. I mean, you must in the DMs. Dude, oh wow! wow. Like, the it's got to be like some girl that's, you know, some big IG model, someone. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, some random. Honestly, I don't remember like any of the direct names, uh, but. Definitely yeah, keeping keep keep him What a guy! <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, yeah, no wonder they're coming after him. Right? I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want name, but no, I'm, I'm not. There was a good amount of DMs. It was pretty cool. Um, and uh, I mean, shoot, that was definitely the craziest. Like, I, I even like felt bad because like I had a hard time like getting back to people, and I'm not. I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, I got hit, yeah, but like yeah, the support yeah. was awesome. Like you yes. know, I'm just saying like from all like Community family friends. Huge, yeah. But it took me literally like three days to get back to everybody, and I appreciated yeah. everyone reaching out. But it was definitely. Uh, a crazy night on Instagram and all that stuff because I remember, you know, usually I think there was a whole big thing with Ohio State kid last year, like during March Madness of getting, you know, shit on in his DMs, all that stuff. You know, you know, there's a huge issue with like fans reaching out saying like, fuck you. Yeah, I don't think, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah you can say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. You're like, fuck you, all that shit. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, after the Arizona game, I definitely got a lot of shit. Um, yeah. So that's what, it, it's game to game. It's just funny to see the ups and downs with all that stuff. And, yeah. uh, you know, thankfully that was a, a good night for me with that. Yeah, but it, it's, it's cool. Kind of not to focus on it, I bet. No, yeah, I mean, some some dudes take it worse than others. I know it just comes with the job at this point. Like, I, I'm used to it, you know, with the last year and all that stuff. But um, you know, it's definitely crazy. Like, even, like, you see, like, the guy and, uh, you know, people – sometimes people just get too into it. Like, the guy at UCLA, I don't know if you remember him spitting on the Arizona fan or whatever. I don't know yeah, if you saw that. that. No. Yeah, a few weeks ago, like, uh, some UCLA kid, um, you know, when they played at Arizona, like, after the game, like, spit on a fan. Um, or, yeah, there's a whole issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, apparently, what, yeah. I mean, what are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, that that just sounds on. normal. Is that that's like casual, right? Yeah, yeah. Nothing. I mean, I don't know the Arizona. I'm sure the Arizona yeah. person said something crazy. Like yeah. fans shouldn't be getting that involved. But that's kind of the nature of sports that's nowadays. Yeah, with yeah, that, that's but. crazy. Yeah. So. It sounds like you ever, that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, it sounds like you have a really good mentality around that too, though. As far as like not letting it get to you. Was there something that changed, or has it always been your like just even keel? I, I just think like I, I understand it comes with the job. Like I think you got to be a little like more professional about it. And like if yeah. people are reaching out to you, like it also I think is like a luxury. Like you know you're you're in a big stage, but you got to be able to handle it well because you know if you listen to too much of that stuff, like you know you're gonna get in your own head. And I think you should just kind of get off social media if you like can't because it's there's a lot of negative energy if you play bad 100%. or oh for so sure. Dude. I, I, yeah, I mean I try and like stay away from that, but you know it's funny reading some of the stuff after you play bad. Honestly, I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a great mentality, yeah, dude. dude. Better than awesome. uh, KD with the burners, dude. Oh my god, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I thought about I thought about getting a burner. Really? Actually, yeah, I mean I, don't, I mean that seems like a funny idea. I mean I, I think the KD stuff's hilarious. I'm sure a lot of guys have those in the league. Yeah, and 100%. Stays, but you think so? You think that's common? 
I think so. Even Katie now, like on his main accounts, like calling out Skip Bayless and stuff, and uh, it's like hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. love guys that like you know I love the whole uh, you know LeBron role model post, but but I also love sure. like Katie's like I'm not a leader, I'm not a role, I'm just mm-hmm. I'm just hooping. I think He's that's hilarious. Him. Yeah, that's, it's, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that approach too because like I love I like when guys are real. I like when guys yeah. like you know so. everybody can't be a leader like LeBron or like the face of yeah. basketball. Yeah. They just like they like basketball and they play. You know, but it's, it's tough fun. when you're KD and you're. Some people think the best player in the world. Yeah, like people right. look up to you to be the leader. And He's like, bro, I just, just play like, basketball. Dude, like, don't talk to me about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it's great, too, because, like, it Genuine. also, like, like you don't, like, when you're someone like Katie, you don't have to be, like, this image of, like, you know, almost like a, you know, higher, higher entity figure. Like, I like guys that are just real. Like, dude, sure. I'm a normal guy. Like, yeah. Like I, I'm gonna like if you're gonna talk shit about me like Skip Bayless and shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk shit yeah. back. Like, I like I like <laughs> yeah. that like That's way of thinking. High, yeah. yeah, it's lit. Like and I think Dane Lillard sometimes does that and uh, well, well, he does like rap battles, so it's like yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, and stuff. Like he I, have you seen those? That. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's a dog. He's he's actually that. pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's funny <laughs> seeing all that stuff, but man, it's cool yeah. stuff. So I saw you. You started at Rice, right? Yeah. Uh, you went there at high school. Uh, no, or Rice no. was so my first two years of college were at Rice. Right, I'm saying you, you oh, went yeah. to Rice out of high school. Yeah, out of high school, yes, yes. And yes. then uh, you changed right here. Yeah. What was yeah. that journey like? It was cool, you know. Um, we had a couple guys leave after my first um, two years at Rice, and so I kind of knew I kind of needed to take a different step and the next step. And uh, obviously, you know, when I hit the transfer portal, I was looking at a lot of different schools, like you know Minnesota, Creighton, Vandy, all that stuff. And hey, Vandy, oh, yeah, shout spot. out. Yeah, 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 I went to Vandy. Oh, did you? Yeah, okay, I sweet, sweet. From there, How yeah. was it? Did you like it? Dude, loved it. Dude, yeah. Nashville's a gr- did you visit or no? No, well, cause it was during COVID, so like I, it was uh, right when COVID hit, so yeah. I didn't even get. It was all Zoom presentations, stuff I got like you, that. I got but you. I heard Nashville's awesome. I want to get out there. Yeah, was uh, Coach Stack there? Was he recruiting? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard he's awesome. Yeah, he's sweet, and so I thought about them. You know, I, I wanted a high academic school still, um, yeah. and then SC gave me the pitch of LA and all that stuff. Yeah, it's tough to like, beat. What yeah. can you do? It's yeah, like, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know how you can like pass up <laughs> this 100%. whole experience. So. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, thankfully it came here, and it ended up being a you know Evan coming here, and it, it ended up being a really good situation. It's yeah. awesome. You said you're a big academic. What major are you? Uh, business. Okay. Awesome. Doing martial stuff, okay. and I always knew you know kind of coming. That's why I ch- chose. Uh, Rice initially, I knew coming in, I wanted to oh, yeah, have a school. good combination yeah. just in case, you know, awesome. you know, have a good degree under your belt. Marshall's like a great school. I'm in Marshall as well. So oh, yeah. yeah I you. What, what class are you taking? Um, I'm in managerial accounting right now. A couple that? of marketing. Oh, it sucks. It's tough. Accounting's tough. Accounting? Yeah. I'm just not an accounting works. guy. Like, accounting's just busy Who work. Who is, though? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. It's just busy work. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it's not like hard concepts. It's just you got to memorize it like history almost. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... It's chill right now. It's my last semester, so I'll do a grad school next year. Awesome. Cool. What do you think about doing for grad school? Um, I'm not going to do an MBA because that's two years, and I only have a year left. Yeah. Um, I'll probably do like a – I'm thinking about a business of entertainment. Just kind of – I, think well, I didn't know cool. that was an option. Yeah. yeah. USC, that's I would have found that, dude. Yeah. I looked into that a little bit. It, look, it looks like – That's a one-year? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, a grad certificate. So wow. I might have uh, to look into it. <laughs> it's a certificate. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Um, so, so you're not considering uh, declaring, though? You for sure want to – I'll probably, yeah, year? I'll probably do like what some guys do where um, you declare, kind of test the waters and then yeah. um, come back, obviously, um, unless you're, you know, guaranteed to get picked. Sure. So, you know, I'll do, I'll, I'll probably go through that whole process. You could sign an agent, you could do the combine. Uh, is there a pro day or no? Uh, yeah, is there's it, like a NBA combine, G League combine, stuff like that. Do your um, workouts with teams and all yeah, that? Yeah, so, see what they yeah. Yeah, it kind of depends your level. Like, um, I still got to figure that out with like an agent and, you know, coaches and field all that stuff. But, um. Uh, I think you could sign with an NCAA certified agent okay. um, for the time being and yeah. figure it out from there. But I'm still early in the process. Like, I haven't thought about it too much and still just kind of playing out the season. Then I'm going to figure it out afterward. Yeah. That's what Isaiah was saying because he went through that process. He said he got so much better just doing that. Yeah. Because like, no, you're you going know. against NBA talent every day. You're doing the workouts. I mean, the – the workouts are just so rigorous. You're getting ready to play in the NBA. Yeah, you're and then practicing and performing like a professional. Like athlete. a pro, yeah. yeah and then you exactly. come back to college and I guess. <laughs> to, to <see. laughs> you're like, oh, back here. Yeah, again. yeah. Nah. To some extent, it's like, dude, it's kind of easier. You've already been through all that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where you can excel. That's so cool. I wish they had that in football. I don't yeah. know. That'd be kind of hype. Oh, you, can, you guys can't do that in between, like, let's say, like your third and fourth year? No, dude. Oh, I wish, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I wish. yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, Isaiah obviously got a lot of good insight, and then he came back and you know obviously stepped up his game. He's had a huge year for us. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm hoping to kind of see you know what that process. What's looks the like. What's like the golden rule for football? I mean, for basketball, because for football they kind of said don't declare early unless you're a first or second rounder. Right, unless you're for sure. What are they saying in basketball? Is it uh, 
drafted at all or is it like if you have a G League opportunity should you take that or is it just kind of depends yeah I mean I think you shouldn't unless you're kind of like so there's 60 picks two rounds obviously 60 yeah. picks total um I think unless in my personal approach is unless you're like a guaranteed top 45 okay because the last 15 guys always a toss-up yeah. you never know yeah. teams kind of just you know fill at that point really but like, yeah. if you can get a guaranteed two-way contract um I'd say you should go um, but other than that, I think you should come back, try another year. Yeah. But also depends your age, depends kind of like what it looks like, if you had yeah. a really good year in comparison. So uh, there's a lot of factors. But unless you're, like, you're a guaranteed top 45 pick, I wouldn't. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, just come back, just come do another back, year. Yeah. yeah, free free school. Yeah. And you just keep getting better, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, unless you're pretty year. young, too. Most of the time, like, you're not super old. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I always thought it was weird how in football you have to play three years, right, before you can declare. Three. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Like, because uh, we only obviously have to play one. Yeah. One. Three. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think it's just like physical development. Like, yeah. it's just they're kind of it's safety. It's 100% yeah. safety. Yeah. Like, it'd be impossible. Oh, there's there's a select few guys who could probably do it. Yeah. If they wanted to. Like straight out of high school. Yeah. Or or a year removed. I th- I think maybe a year. Clown, I don't think out of Clowny, high school. for example. You know. Dude, out of high school is crazy. I don't know. Nah, like a year out from yeah, South Carolina I think or something like that. Football is just so different, though. Yeah, I mean, I, like, it's probably like positionally where I assume like it'd be harder for like sure. an offensive lineman like who's got to put on a lot of yeah, strength yeah. to make the jump than like, let's say, a skill position. Yeah, I always thought it was crazy how like a 17, 18 year old can just go to the NBA yeah, and, and just ball. light it yeah. up. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Like you can't even drink and you're like, 18, bro. You yeah. can't do a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't even rent a car. Like yeah. you can't do nothing. Yeah, it's you're playing against grown men, and then you're yeah. you're guarding LeBron James the next day. Too. Yeah, I saw something like the other day, like D Wade uh, averaged like 34 in the finals at age 23. Insane. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's all you know. I'm 22 now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Freaking insane, dude. The thing is, too, with basketball, you can play a lot longer. Like that too. Football, right, like right. if you start getting older, it's like, geez, like I don't know how many years left I can play the sport, you know. Yeah. But basketball, you can use all your eligibility, especially with COVID, be like a super senior, and then you have that time to still like play a good yeah. amount of years, you know. Well, I think it's smart how a lot of football guys, I feel like, are getting out of it earlier after, like, you know, uh, like I mean, Keekley. Um, yeah, retired, retired pretty early, early right? Yeah. After making a bunch of money. Yeah. yeah. And Donald's not that old, right? He's considering He's, retiring. Yeah. Aaron Donald's considering it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't so. Wanna. Yeah, it's smart to, you know, if you're getting a lot of head yeah, contact, dude. you know, that, no, that stuff's crazy. Literally, it's, it is wild. So uh, we interviewed, uh, do you know who Sua is? Sua Cravens? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so baller out here, played safety, second round pick for the Redskins. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were just kind of talking about his concussion. He had a really bad one uh, in Washington. Uh, he got like post-concussion, uh, post-concussion syndrome, uh, like anxiety, depression, light sensitivity, like all that stuff, like you know, kind of gives you like bipolar, just mood swings, all that kind of stuff. Right. And that was like Crazy. just one concussion. Yeah, it's scary, insane, dude. It's yeah, scary. yeah. there's so many like micro concussions, like yeah. every day, and all those types of things that build up. And then there's just like your joints. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, right, right. Ten body. years. No, no. I heard like offensive linemen can like barely walk. NFL offensive linemen, like after like ten <laughs> years of like being out of the league. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and I mean, you're not so wrong. much weight. Dude. Yeah, imagine being 450 pounds, like. Like just being able to move oh. that all the time is yeah. just like a lot of energy. Happening. And they're hitting it like they're going contact every single play. Whereas oh, like yeah, you know most dude. positions aren't. They're 100%. like, oh, I mean that's like crazy. To me. Yeah, Andrew crazy. Whitworth is crazy. For yeah, that. so the Rams they have this. Yeah. What is he? Forty. He's forty. He's the oldest guy now yeah. without Tom. And yeah. He's in alignment. It's that's. I mean that's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. That's um, wow. It's a good time. Yeah. It's not like that. How's the physical uh, nature in basketball, though? Like, are you guys, you guys aren't really taking those kind of hits, how, like, charges, stuff like that, though? It's not. Well, yeah, nothing too. Obviously, it doesn't compare to football. Yeah. Um, but still, if you're one of those guys who's, like, on the floor and really rebound and stuff like that, like, you know, I give credit to guys like Chavez, who's, you know, really getting uh, getting in every play. And Say, like, you're Russell Westbrook, though, who's driving in the paint, like, he's. He's getting grimy. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting grimy. He's a grimy guy. Yeah, dude. yeah. He's getting but in there. You know? Thankfully, like... like he goes the, so hard every night, dude. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. But the NBA's done a good job of trying... I mean, an okay job. I still think it could be, like, more like, you know, like the 90s where they let things play out a little more. Oh, uh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah. But the, the NBA's done a good job protecting their players, I think, soft. over the last few years. He's, he's saying soft. the NBA's soft. It's going soft. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely going a little bit too soft. Yeah, sure. Uh, but obviously seeing some of the old clips where, like, you know, like Larry Birch was, like, throwing guys <laughs> yeah. on the floor. I think like, that's sports in general. What do you think about that? What what like sport? Too? I, I mean, a lot of sports. They're just like it's not soft. I mean, people are gonna say it's soft. They're 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 claiming it's because of safety. I, I think get the it's head like, stuff in football though. No, yeah, the yeah. targeting. 
No, 100%. Yeah. I get that. I'm just saying, in general, I think as a sports community, a lot of stuff has been getting... Well, the, the taunting stuff that gets, like, called out in basketball and football, like, celebrating. Yeah. Like, if you dunk, I think you should be able to, like, you know, look, stare at a guy down. Yeah, yeah. Sure, And I tee him up. Like, yeah. like uh, didn't uh, the Bengals get... Uh, Whatever, a flag for 15 yards after getting an interception? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, dude, who cares? That's when Vernon Hargraves ran on the field in the slides. Did you, did you <laughs> oh, see did he? that? That's yeah. hilarious. So, yeah, like, I like I, he plays corner. I guess he was injured. I don't know why he wasn't active. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, they scored. I think they got a pick. Dude, like run. Middle of the field. Yeah, yeah, run the middle of the field. Yeah. And his slides, bro. Super Bowl, dude, that doesn't even have open toed, sh- uh, closed toed shoes. Bro. Okay. But dude, in, in college, dude, um, we watched a clip during the season. I don't know if you remember. Um, they were showing it as like an example. A dude scores like an 80 yard tub, and like right before he's about to go in the end zone, he like turns around to kind of like stare the dude down. In college, they call that back. It's <laughs> crazy. So, like, they call that back? So he loses the 80 yard tub. And it for just because he turned around to like do a ton. I think that's. Dumb. I mean, that's like they said the same thing about uh, you can't do the horns down. Yeah, in Texas. Wasn't that, that? Yeah. Wasn't that that huge game where some guy in maybe Georgia like did like the dog like peeing at the uh, end and it, like, it, it, like yeah, cost yeah, him the yeah, game, yeah. right? I know that kid, funny. Elijah Moore. Yeah, yeah. he's from Miami. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. like a big rivalry game, and it cost him yeah, the game. Yeah, it was or uh, Ole Miss Mississippi State Egg Bowl. It's like yeah. I don't understand yeah. why refs care that much. Like no one like I don't know. <laughs> and where people love it. Like I mean, everybody's watching. It's going crazy. It's a violent game too. Like like what are we doing here, bro? <laughs> like it's crazy. The gritty's getting out of control, though. Everybody's, everybody's. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Everyone is doing that. It's yeah. like the new thing to do. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a celly after like a big three or something? Yeah, what's, nah, what's I'll just throw the hands signature? up. Like, I'll just throw the hands up just, like this. Maybe hands a little up bit the classic. Yeah, nothing crazy. That's what they're doing like 2K or something. That's, yeah, like, that's, 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 that's like some generic. I did a little <laughs> Money Man Zell the other day. I think I might uh, start doing that's that. That's hard, dude. I've been that's thinking hard. about bringing yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah. That might be my thing. I had to wait till he popped off to do that. Yeah. I was like the three, the. Who started that? Was it Mellow? Uh, might have been Mellow actually. Like it goes like that. Yeah, right. be, like right yeah. here. But uh, no, I, I got some hate. <laughs> I actually got DM'd after the game. He's like, I lost all respect for you after doing that Money Manzel. Who, who said that? Just a random big uh, guy. Okay. Like, but I'm like, yeah, it's lit. I might be. I'm like, no, I love it. <laughs> I love cool. it, man. Yeah, it gets like me it, fired dude. up, dude. It gets yeah. people going. That's, it's entertainment. It's finest. That's yeah, funny. No, who, who doesn't like Johnny Manzel? Yeah, right. Uh, a lot of people. What a beast. <laughs> I mean, he's the man. Manzel's hilarious. Yeah, he's, I love Manzel. Yeah. But he was at that uh, waste management with uh, <laughs> with Megan. And them. I don't know if I. We talk about that. Johnny. Yeah, no, what, what, what waste management? Thing? I don't know. Dude, the the golf tournament. Oh, oh the Phoenix Open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's crazy, dude. I want to go to that. That's pretty dope. Right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what Johnny's doing nowadays, man. What else? Yeah. Nil deals. I'm sure <laughs> they can do whatever he wants. Yeah, I, do you see all the? I think it was that him that said like he ended up like looking back on it, he signed like he like got like 400k in college, just signing a bunch dude, of he shit. He would have made at least what? He would have made three to five mil. I saw somewhere three they more? just projected if Reggie would have like stayed, like if NLI would have been. NIL. NIL. Gosh, do that every time. Know, every time. Every time. I, relax. Uh, <laughs> he would have made like six million dollars they projected him to make. Reggie? In, in yeah, college. Leonard, and he stayed Leonard for two years. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. The NIL is so hilarious. That's, that's awesome. How are y'all approaching that on the basketball team? Uh, most guys take on their own. Like a couple guys got like agents who kind of help with that. I think Ethan Isaiah, um, like manager stuff like that. Yeah, I kind of manage on my own. Like it's nothing too crazy. You know, I'm not like fucking Caleb Williams out here with beats <laughs> and shit. But yeah. Um, so yeah, we handle it on our own mostly, and there's nothing crazy going on. You know. Yeah. Anything specific you would want if you could get anything? Uh, nothing crazy. You know, I did that whole bar stool shit, uh, which was cool. Oh, What's up with that? Yeah, talk talk yeah. to us about cool. it. Uh, so I've talked to Portnoy and Big Cat a few times. I don't really? know if you guys follow bar stool. Yeah, 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 of course, dude. Uh, Big Cat shot me a text after UCLA game, which was funny. Oh, that's <laughs> Those um, are the cool ones. Those are yeah. like okay. Yeah, it was sweet. sweet. But no, there's nothing. They didn't end up doing anything too much with it, to be honest. I think they just kind of got an initial huge following. I think their page has like you know whatever 300k followers yeah. that bar yeah. athletic shit. But it was really just a sweatsuit and. Um, I think some of the like more notable guys kind of actually was able to get in contact with uh, um, the Dave. people, but it's cool, you know. I like Barstool; it's a good time. Yeah, you got yeah. to talk to Dave. Yeah, what yeah. was that like? Well, it was cool because I was I was gonna host a camp in my hometown, oh, and awesome. so I reached out. I was like, oh, I think it'd be a good idea. Maybe if you could like provide shirts, you know, something like that. So he yeah. was gonna make shirts for us, but then uh, due to like new COVID restrictions that got put in place, like two weeks before my camp, I had to shut it down. So I had to tell him like cancel it, but yeah. Um, he's cool. He's, I mean, here actually, like hearing because I talked to him on the phone, hearing yeah. him like talk, I'm like, holy shit! Like, yeah, it's yeah, Dave it's Dave. I've listened to all you know podcasts, random stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. He's, he's a man. He's hilarious. Funny guy. Yeah, dude. I w- I don't know. We I think we were talking about it, but I think Lulu that would be a crazy and uh, and I that'd be nice. That would be hard, bro. Dude, the, we talked about it last week. Whatever the Canadian, uh, what they
uh like crazy type of gear yeah uh, from lulu just the sweatsuit the whole oh. the whole deal awesome. yeah that's nice i mean gosh that's nice being like a pro athlete you you kind of just reach out to whoever and be like hey let me and then yeah they're like yeah they're like, they're like so here sweet. take whatever yeah <laughs> it's crazy they were so willing to do it it's yeah. awesome It'd be cool to get the pod uh we were talking to barstool or we were trying to kind of start some communication with uh them picking up some like college podcasts and stuff like that when everything was picking up yeah so something like that i think would be really interesting oh you said you guys reached out yeah oh yeah, yeah. well yeah. there was a few different networks but i was kind of holding off because i think i thought barso would have been a fit that yeah they may have also thought paired yeah right right um, right um because they have something like this in uh in a pro football version okay yeah uh, with right. tennessee they do it like in a bus like the idea was this would be like the college football version yeah right right um right. and you know it kind of aligns with what their brand is and stuff like that but yeah yeah that'd, yeah. that'd be fun that'd be just dudes sick. chilling yeah hanging just out just dudes chilling yeah yeah having a couple of beers you know yeah, why not? what can you do <laughs> yeah which <laughs> friday beers by the way is also trying to do something similar oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so they're trying to pick up some like podcasts as well you know that is right there. yeah yeah, friday beers yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 um so my manager's actually talking to them about uh about potentially like picking up the pod and doing something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, let me know. I could ask like, you know, I could text Big Cat and see if I could get this. Like, Hell yeah, that'd dude. Be, that'd be a good be little huge. combination. Dude, if you can, that'd be freaking yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, solid. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Be you, wanna, you wanna read some of the questions we, we had for him? Uh, let's see what we got. I think we had like a, a little poll or submission box. Yeah. Some questions. Also for future notice, you can email Momentum Podcast Truck. I think it is at gmail.com momentum podcast truck if you have any truck uh dying any questions. kind of yeah anything no. anything nice. that man critical I question it can be uh debates we're good at debates it could be hypotheticals could be relationship advice. Whatever Matt, gets you Matt going. And I will help you out. Whatever even gets if it's you a going. video submission we'll yeah. give you a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> All right so for some give us questions. some good Dan some good some, some, the juicy yeah, stuff some juicy best tacos in LA asks pre Sige O B J J <laughs> who I don't know <laughs> a bunch of letters uh shout out to pre O J J <laughs> thank you for listening uh I'll start because this is the easiest question I've heard in a lot if of we time. say it is same same time Ready? three two one angels, angels tacos yeah. wow angels. i gotta check that out i've actually been looking for like good tacos Bro? dude it's just like a stand they just pull up with like yeah. a huge pork uh we were just talking about it just pork and beef and they come around here nah uh, it's like by dodger stadium like 10 yeah. 15 away from here oh okay gotcha uh, they have several locations that's the closest one uh angels tijuana tacos Dude, we put like the whole team on it. Like there it's was like sweet. three dollars for a taco. So they're just trucks, though. No, like actually, uh, it's, like, not, even it's truck. not even truck, dude. They just pull up on the street. I don't even know oh, if, really? if they're like licensed to do it. They just kind of <laughs> definitely yeah. not. Hundred yeah, percent not. Yeah, yeah. Like but they dogs. make their own tortillas right there too. Oh, they make it fresh, all it's dude. Higher portions are fantastic. It's not like Chipotle where they kind of skimp in you. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Sometimes like on the chicken, they're. Chipotle is a mess over there. That Chipotle. Oh, the one yeah. on Fig. Yeah, I think yeah. they're like shut down right now for some like. Health violations. E. coli somewhere. or something. Yeah. Who knows? Oh my dude. gosh. It's hit or miss, dude. Yeah. You, can get, you can get a great burrito or you could see like some dude butt naked just walking down the street. Right, you know? right. Yeah, Which I've true. seen before. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not making it up, bro. Really? Well, how does that even happen? <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you asking me, dog? <laughs> I saw the man walking butt naked. So you just had thing. your tacos. You're walking out and that's bro, what happened? I parked and like I didn't even bat an eye because it's kind of normal. Oh. I kind of expect <laughs> that, dude. <laughs> I love it. The guy's still celebrating that post U- UCLA win. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. He loves it. <laughs> He's talking to himself. He was on something, dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But well, you know, I haven't found many uh, good taco spots yet. I I haven't looked much. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Obviously, Huero's a staple. Yeah. A foundation of USC. I've never know? been there. Uh, come on. Yeah. It's. Never been to Huero. Definitely. Nah. Damn. Definitely not as good as Angels, but I would say really? it's, it's just late night food. It's yeah. just like you know, it's okay. okay. But I've gone to there's a spot called like Happy Taco. I, got, I think I've been. To I drive it. by it all the time. Yeah, it's not bad. I've been there. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's like it's like on uh, what is that Hoover right there? Uh, okay, like yeah, down close. way down the street. Yeah. But what uh, what's your like favorite spot to eat if you're like hungry late night? <sighs> um, late night. I'm a big McDonald's guy. Really? I think McDonald's gets so much hate for how like good of a production it is. You know what you're getting yeah. every time. That's true. I mean, Ocho I Cinco, huh? love McDonald's. 
I'm gonna fight back on that one. <laughs> Come on. Ocho, we got the next Ocho. Yeah, yeah, dude. Well, when someone says they're going to like Carl's Jr. or something, I'm okay, like, Carl's Jr. is no, terrible. No, 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 I'm Carl's like, Jr. Trash, McDonald's trash, is like, yeah, like the fun, like that's that's you know what you're getting. Yeah, right? yeah. it's golden arches. You yeah, the gold, the, I mean, you know, you get them every why time. Why not just go to Five Guys around the corner? No, I'm bro. saying late night if everything's closed. Oh, I feel like that. if we're talking past that. ten and you don't go to McDonald's, I'm like, sure. come on, dude. Yeah. McDonald's. I, I feel like it's between Taco Bell and, and McDonald's. Ah, what what else you get? Toilet for the next three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. yeah. But what do you, what do you get at McDonald's? <sighs> I mean, it differs. A Big Mac or like a ten piece nug. Yeah, I like a nice vanilla cone there. Mm. If the ice cream machine's on. Oh know. yeah. Uh, well, what's the chances of that, though? Yeah, 50-50. Maybe <laughs> even less. But. I was going to say, it's like 30% chance. People sleep on the nugs, man. A little barbecue sauce. <sighs> Fire. Ranch. Oh. I, I grew up on that stuff. I'm yeah. you, after, like, uh, you know, the Friday Night Lights high school football games, everyone would just go to this nearest McDonald's and oh, pack it out. That's the spot. Yeah. Oh, man, we bring those, you know, you know, crazy. Everything's there. Yeah, everything's there. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Well, everybody we'll and everything. So you exactly. fit to go to McDonald's. That's yeah. what I'm saying. saying. Everyone, like you know, we've all we're all you know we uh, let's say it's uh, what would it be Hawaiian night at the football game. You know the themes they yeah, got going sure, on. Everyone sure. mobs at McDonald's right after the game. Mm, Players no, come I in. We're all like, yeah. Here, here it's in and out. Like uh, I grew up in a, you grew up in Illinois, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, like everybody goes in and out. Uh, it's like the same yeah. thing. You, wherever high school you go to, there's in Fine. and outs everywhere, and it's like cheap, so that everybody just mobs them. Yeah, I love you have it. anything in Miami or what? No, nah, there's one in Nashville. Uh, I'm blanking out the name, but like it's packed shoulder to shoulder after really? the, it's more like after a night out. What, what type of food? Uh, dude, it's like burgers, hot dogs, all that kind of okay. fast food, but it's yeah. cheap, dude. You yeah, can get like exactly. eight corn dogs, four burgers. What is that called? For like 80 cents. What's uh, 80 cents? <laughs> yeah. Holy dude. moly. Dude, our joke was that if you pull up with a $20 bill, they give you the keys to the That's place. not that cookout place, <laughs> is it? <laughs> cookout. Yeah. Yes, I was gonna say, thank you. Cookout. I went that's to one when I was me. around that area and uh, I think that's fire. It's, it's pretty. I mean, for it's the just price, cheap. yeah, it's for dude. Cents, dude, I'm dude. telling you, bro. You I'm, could I eat we, anything. For yeah, cents, bro. Dude. You could feed like a small African tribe. And they have like, everything. Yeah, I, for I like twenty four cents, dude. Yeah. You feel good after that. You spend, no, you don't you feel a, good. But it's after a night out. No, you spend a dollar. You're like, dude, I'm. Oh, you're satisfied. feasting. Yeah, yeah you're feasting. You know? Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, what's next? All right, next question from Active Iceman. Would you rather be a star player on an OK team or a role player on a powerhouse team? First of all, what's that name again? Active Iceman. I okay. like that. Nice. Active okay. Iceman. Shout One out. One of our quarterbacks, is, they call him Ice, so maybe that, that's him. That's like his burner <laughs> or something. He's <laughs> like, hey, guys, uh, I didn't want to ask questions, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all go ahead. I got to think about that one. I mean, I think it goes like if it's like championship worthy, especially like. I'd love to be like Danny Green on the Lakers team, you know, a few years ago. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. Or like, you know, who's – I would honestly – you know, the thing I'd love is to be a backup quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> in the league, yeah. I mean, you're <laughs> chilling. <laughs> you're chilling most of the time. Blue Mountain State. Oh, my gosh. Like, who's who's that uh, – there's always a really good backup quarterback around the league. There was Otherwise. the one dude he was like, just retired, I believe. Or that played uh, playoffs last year. He was, like, in the league for 14 years. Hadn't played a single snap until last year. <laughs> what uh, what team? What, who was it again? Do you remember? <sighs> he bounced around. I can't Who's that guy it. on the Chiefs that played in Missouri? The really short guy. I feel like Alex would know this. It might have been the Eagles, to be back. honest. Was it Aaron uh, Murray? No. Aaron Murray went to Georgia. The guy, the guy that went to Missouri. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like Kellen Moore, he's living the life now. Now he's well, an now OC. Now he's an OC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he, I mean, he was backup quarterback, what, yeah. eight years, something like yeah. that. Now he's an OC. Yeah. He, it's not, not a bad gig. If yeah. you're winning, too. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. Right. It's great. So now yeah. The Rams' backup quarterback? Who is it? No one knows. No one knows. No but one he's knows. got a ring now yeah. and he's got money. He's probably making at least over a million, right? Yeah. I mean, the incentives, 100%, too. 100%. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably got some baddies at the crib, too. Oh, he's chilling. You know, price probably light. Like, he's having a good time. Yeah. That's awesome. Throw a few balls in the afternoon. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I feel like I, I would take I would take the, the star role. Why not? I just be the guy. Uh, on an average team, was that the question? I think so, right? So basically, what Damian Lillard, Russell Westbrook, yeah, right, and OKC, yeah, yeah. It kind of depends if it's pro or amateur because like if you're pro, That's you're a true. star guy. You're, you're still making a pro. like ten million yeah, a year. You're still like so me. I'd probably take that in a pro situation. You're making ten million a year still. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of nice to start off that way in your career, and then like in the tail end, you like, you I'm like, like a, a role ship. player, yeah, like Carmelo. Uh, yeah, Carmelo. That's, like, exactly. that's probably best case, right? Get yeah. a ring at the end. Yeah, that's right. sweet. That's what a lot of guys with the Rams did, right? I mean, like they took less money so they could like get a solid Some team. Some of those dudes still in their prime, though. Jalen's still in his prime. Aaron, right? Jalen's uh, on the back end, though. Odell, sure. is he technically? I think those two are both on their their back end. 
Yeah. I don't know. Dude, that was like 29-30, though. I know, but just injuries. Injuries, too. I feel yeah. that. Yeah. How about Von Miller? Is he still on his prime? No. No, uh, out, no, right? no. He's still, he's, he's still a guy. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. He's still starting for the, <laughs> the Super Bowl yeah. champs. Yeah, know, yeah, but. yeah. Not his prime, though. Right. I get what you're saying. Everyone kind of just mobbed on that one team. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like what the Bucks like the Bucks did the Bucks, last year. Yeah, similar to the Bucks. They're just like Tom Brady doesn't take very much money, but he'll like sure do it so he can get a bunch of good. Lakers guys. this year, even though it's not working, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's still doing pretty well. The Lakers, dude. They're oh, like no, nine. Sorry, season, I think the Bucks. No, no, no. Yeah, they, they're a mess right now. Yeah, they should have got rid of Westbrook. To be you honest, think so? yeah. I mean, it's just you know. I don't know. It just doesn't work. I mean, you can't have a ball dominant guy playing with LeBron like that. It's is just that like, what it is? It's impossible. You can't. He's shoot. got an ego, dude. What do you Russ? Think? Yeah. Well, you have to at that level, right? But more yeah. than I think the average amount. What is it though with Russell? Like from a basketball perspective, is this his shooting or is it just straight chemistry with those guys? It's just he's an inefficient shooter. It's just like teams can. What what basically happens is teams can play off him so far. That basically the other four guys are playing four on five defense or four on five basically because oh, wow. they know Westbrook can't shoot threes, so they just yeah. pack the paint and you kind of have two guys now you got to go through instead of one if you make a play. So yeah. how does it's he? Mess. He I mean he goes crazy during the regular season normally, and then year, <laughs> the playoffs yeah. he just kind of struggles. What, why? Why does that happen? It's just the I mean the regular season. That's what I think the NBA has got to work on. I personally am not a fan of like you know I watch a good amount of games, but yeah. it's such a difference in performance and like. People like trying. trying really hard. I feel like yeah. uh, so when teams actually are fully into scouting, fully want to win the games. That's why I love the NBA playoffs. You know, it's yeah. so intense. Yeah. But um, I think that's when you see like you know their schemes are gonna. Outbeat they don't it. care about Westbrook and they'll yeah. let him shoot whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a Buddy Heel trade or something like that? They were trying to get him I before the through. season. They tried to. They actually I think denied that to get Westbrook. And then at the deadline, I think they tried to do a, a healed Westbrook flip flop and. Yeah. With Westbrook's contract, it's just yeah, like, no, why would you ever take up. him? Yeah. But honestly, if I'm a bad team, like I'm something like, let's say, a small market team, that's not good. Like, I don't know, old Portland's still trying to fight for it. But I'd take him just to get, like, you know, I, Houston. Like, I'd take his contract out just to get fan attendance, sure. a little yeah. bit more, like, momentum, yeah. a little bit more celebrity status, just to try and, like, make a little sure. more money. But who knows? I don't know the logistics of, like, how much yeah. he's, they got to pay him. Who knows? But, he, I mean, it's a complete liability because of his contract. Yeah. Issue. Yeah. How much? How much is it? Do you know? Shoot, just I couldn't tell. Too you. much. Yeah, just probably a on lot. a max deal, right? Or no? Because he's still probably on that same OKC deal. Is he? And they paid him. Yeah, a, I think that's what like John Wall's on too, and he's terrible. Yeah, they brought the Brinks truck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's got a forty-four point two million dollars this season, and then next year he has a forty-seven million player option, which obviously he's gonna take. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you make ten a year in the NFL, that's like you're up there. Oh yeah, you're doing which well. Which is insane, dude. Yeah, ten a what? year in the NBA, you're like a role player. You're on the bench. All <laughs> right, <It's crazy. laughs> but right. It, I mean, it's the margin, right? There's like way less, less guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. They're also guaranteed contracts, though, for the most part in the NBA, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another <laughs> big time. <laughs> so it's crazy. You have like a good two years. You're like set. Yeah. Not. All right, what we got, Dan? All right, last question from Eddie R two. Uh, what's the best high school basketball player you ever saw? Um, I think up there in mixtapes, I think John Wall. I think he's like notable for his, his high school mixtape. Yeah. Um, he was just an absolute freak. Uh, even in college, I guess, in the first few years. In oh, yeah, he was a guy, yeah. But I'm always uh, outside high school mixtapes. I mean, I'm a Chicago guy, D. Rose. I mean, what could have been yeah. with that guy? <laughs> but um, no, I mean, high school mixtapes, John Wall is definitely, I think, the craziest. Kind of player Zion, yeah. Zion, that's what I, I was throwing Zion in that's there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, random, random submission. Thon Maker. Thon Maker. He was a <laughs> god. Do you know what that is? No, <laughs> dude, I love all this. Yeah, I love all this. He's like the this. seven. What is he? Seven one, something yeah. like that. Oh, uh, yeah. but he was playing the point, dude. In this, high this was yeah, like how, he, how he's up there, was honestly. This? Huh? this was like maybe six years ago. Uh, this was like when I was in high school. Yeah, yeah, not too long ago, five, yeah, six years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. crossing people up. It's like skinny seven footer. I thought he was gonna be like. The next dude, he still went first round because of his potential, yeah. right? Yeah, he he's uh, I don't know where he's. I think he's bouncing between the G League and NBA right now. Really? But I think uh, people didn't know like what his age was. He <laughs> just nah, like, yeah. I'm 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly, exactly. Uh, I don't know what the story is with him if he moved uh, from Africa or something. Yeah, right, right. But right. Uh, he could have been like 30, 
Like, I think they said that. They said no. Nah, well, I mean, not not really. Uh-oh. He just does it. In high hard. school, he was he was like running the point. Seven dude. one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. So lit. Yeah, but I think they found out that with uh, I think Serge Ibaka, mm-hmm. uh, late in his career, they found out oh this guy might be like ten years older than he is. <laughs> really? I think there was some report that said like oh this guy's like ten years older than he actually says he is. What the heck? And I mean, I mean, he's still producing. Uh, yeah. You said what? Does that happen often? Because there's a lot of international. No, dudes no, in I don't think I don't think it's too often of a thing. I think it's just like sometimes like. But I mean, hey, it's a good decision. To, uh, maybe yeah. be like, cause, like, great decision. Surgery, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> phenomenal choice. By yeah. But I don't He's know. Made I don't a know. lot of money. Yeah, I don't know too much about all that. Because scouts but. want like a younger prospect. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. And you know, Serge is still producing. He's still a good player. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. Um, but I think he was Pretty like smart. I don't know. I mean, apparently, I don't know the you know how true the report is. There, I don't, I, I didn't read too much into it. But I remember there's some speculation with that. Yeah. Now so, we can say we're like 17. Yeah, years low key. We're great prospects. Exactly. You know, like junior in high school. Yeah, yeah. dude. Five That's star running unit. back. Yeah, yeah you're a guy, dude. You lit. Just how how do you, would you get her like? You're squatting uh, like what? 225 nowadays. Okay. All right. Dude, today today was. Yeah. Gosh, I think legs. that's funny. What what I see out here in Cali a lot is. All the reclassing when oh, they were younger. Yeah. Like uh-huh. I joke with uh, so the freshman fun. Harrison Hornery, he's my yeah. guy. Um, he's like a twenty year old freshman. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I, and I'm twenty two and I'm a senior. I'm like, yeah. geez, like it's great. So a lot of the Cali guys I think reclass when they're younger. Yeah. Like that. So I remember. I don't know about basketball necessarily, but for football, there was guys who even had to like leave our state um, because like state by state, there's rules for how old you can be and playing in like CIF or right, something like that. Right. Guys would be like turning eighteen. Um, like going into their end of their junior year, right. so they <laughs> they'd be nineteen by their senior yeah, year. Yeah, uh, do you remember seeing that one team that uh, that that JUCO team that like just got a bunch of guys together to play uh, some high school team or something like that, and they ended up being like a fake school. Yeah, you know what I'm talking oh, about Bishop Sycamore, yes. dude. Bishop yeah, yeah, yeah. They played IMG, right? Yeah, I, I think one of the guys ended up being like forty years old <laughs> on the team. <laughs> And they got blown out. I mean, they got yeah. just yeah. obliterated. Duh, dude. What was up with it? I never even heard of like. I don't really. Do y'all know what happened back there with that Bishop Sycamore? You got to give them credit to pull that I off. I mean, yeah, they were on ESPN. The yeah. game was on Gosh. ESPN. Yeah. I mean, no background check. Like, like the coach just walks up. He's like, all right. We want to play on ESPN. They're like, oh, where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I think they lied about like a lot of dudes offers. Yeah, they're like, right. what are your prospects, right? Because that's what ESPN wants yeah. to see. And they're like, yeah, this dude's got Clemson, Florida State, Bama. How does Clemson not be like, we don't know who that guy is? Yeah, well, I think that's what <laughs> happened once once the game got televised. <laughs> like, like, when did we offer this kid? this guy, dude? <laughs> I don't um, even think they deserve much repercussions because, like, it's on it, ESPN. Yeah. Like, it's their fault. I mean, yeah, it, it's on ESPN. Like, For them to pull on, that yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it, give them creds almost. It's pretty, impressive. It's, it's pretty yeah. impressive. It was a funny story, dude. It became a great meme. Too. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> what was the score? I think they got, like, blown out. Like, of course, dude. <laughs> IMG's, like, straight five stars. Man. But, it, I mean, it's, if there's 40-year-olds, who knows? Yeah, there was a legit 40-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what's, what's, what's going on? Uh, funny. Yeah, dude. How funny. Dude, bro, there's a... Uh, the game's changing. Florida's the same thing with what you were saying with the reclassifying. Yeah. Uh, my high school that I graduated, uh, Dillard, in Fort Lauderdale, they got the the number one quarterback in the country just transferred in. Okay, yeah. And uh, I just saw it on Twitter just scrolling through my feed. And I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. Like, if I wanted to, I can go back to games. Like, hopefully they'll be pretty good. Yeah. And so I called my old uh, high school head coach. I'm like, oh, what's the deal? Like, I heard about this. He goes, uh, yeah. So he's going into his sophomore year. He goes... He may only have that one year. He might not be able to play junior and senior year because he's like that a twenty-year-old like freshman in high school. Oh like, right, he's right, like, right, No, he's not twenty, obviously, but you know, seventeen or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. That's um, crazy. I don't know what the rule is in Florida. I don't think you could play at like nineteen or something. I think yeah. Las Vegas is like the uh, least strict because I remember a is Bishop that what Mike Gorman. Jack says? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but because uh, that was like the huge thing. Um, with JT Daniels, I believe he was like before he was because he, uh, he decided to go early to USC. Yeah, but uh, was he, he older? I think he was deciding between going to Las Vegas and playing at like Gorman or something. Oh, would he schools. not have been able to play senior at Modern Day? No, is that why he left? Yeah. Um. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> he's nice. got a tad at USC, and now he doesn't even go here. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, what was this, Dan? I didn't understand what you were saying. Do you want to ask the questions? Yeah, sure. What are like the differences between playing in the regular season and like the March Madness tournament? Like, how does it change? Um, I just think the total atmosphere, um, and obviously you kind of reflect the environment's energy. Um, I think, well, at least last year, March Madness was the first time us getting fans. You know, no COVID with uh, with the or no fans with the COVID stuff in Galen Center, but 
Um, obviously, the stakes are really high. It's really cool. It was cool last year because we had all the teams staying in the same hotel, basically. Yeah. The same, like, three hotels. Yeah. So we'd be walking it? by. Like, I'd be walking by, you know, whatever, uh, you know, all the head coaches that, you know, like you see on TV, at, like, growing yeah, up. Yeah, Coach like, K and all those yeah, dudes. Yeah. It's nuts. But, um, and, uh, you know, it's just the atmosphere with the environment. It's so cool. Did yeah. you guys eat together and stuff? Yeah. No, yeah. We would, we would eat together just, like, in tables and, um you know, thankfully, we didn't have any crazy, like, COVID, like uh, I think I was, uh, VCU got canceled out of the tournament because of COVID right when the tournament started. So, I think Oregon got an automatic next round. That's hype. Um, yeah. Of course, Oregon gets it, right? Yeah, Freaking right. Oregon, bro. Travis Jeez. died, bro. Yeah. And then we smacked him after <laughs> I bet, that. I hope he's watching. Yeah. Probably not, dude. <laughs> I feel like Travis watches, like, Naruto. He, he does seem like an anime guy. Yeah, he seems like that kind of guy. What were you saying? Sorry. But no, no, yeah. The, I mean, it's just the environment. It's just, it's so crazy. Just, you know, obviously, you know, the stakes, you know, you got a bunch of people watching the games, but. Um, the intensity definitely goes up. Huh? Oh, you, you just kind of thrive in all the fans. And, you know, it's funny when people are sending brackets to you and stuff. And, <laughs> um, but no, it's awesome. It's, it's, you know, I watched stuff growing up and to be able to participate in it, it's just, you know, a blessing, it's obviously. Awesome. It's, it's cool. So. Oh, yeah, baby. National yeah. champs, let's get it. Yeah, we need to make that run this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Add another parade down Fig. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be lit. That'd do, be you, nice. do you have any like set goals that you make normally for for yourself, or, like as an individual, versus like obviously winning a championship with your team and doing well? But nothing crazy. I've always been a guy who like if I set you know specific game goals, I usually end up playing bad. So okay. I usually go into it just like kind of you know. Play your ass off and see where it takes you. I gotcha. um, it's probably something to that, just being looser rather yeah. than like, oh, I got to yeah. get X amount of points or exactly. stats or whatever. Just yeah, free flow of the game. Yeah, I like know? to be yeah, I like to be loose, you know, on game day. So I listen to a little R and B before the game. I don't like yeah. to listen oh, okay. to too much. A little R and B, maybe some EDM here Which, and there. Honestly, really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's very different than R and B. No, no, but I, I don't like to listen to like hardcore like Eminem and stuff like that in yeah. the game day. Just because uh, stay loose. Then maybe some EDM as we get toward the game. I like no, that. No, lose yourself, Eminem. No, no, you that's hit the court. No, just because there's such a and I find there's such a gap in between when you're like you know. As you know, this like when you're allowed to like kind of listen to music, then you stop. Yeah. Then you got about two hours for the game of like a warm up. Yeah. So you, you don't, I don't want to get to like that crazy Into, zone yeah. and then have two hours of kind of chilling and then get Peaking going too high. That's yeah. A problem. So I kind of try and transition slowly into. Do you have like a go to couple songs or? I've been on the weekend a lot recently. Oh, okay. That new album. Sleep nice. on the weekend, bro. There's oh, a new yeah. album. Uh, the one uh that Dawn FM thing, oh, okay. uh, like a few weeks back, yeah. but. Yeah, the weekend's fire. I used to hate on him until that Super Bowl uh, performance. Yeah. Put yeah. me on him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he went crazy. Well, he went crazy. Really? Dude. Yeah, yeah. It's a change. Dude. When he was in, like, uh, that room, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? He's going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's good. That's what put you on. Not the music, huh? Um, well, like, it introduced me more. I was kind of a hater, to okay. be honest. Yeah. That, it makes know? a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 More of a weekday guy. All right, let's keep going. Yes, sir. Love some Post Malone. Post that, Malone's fire. Yeah, Post, like Post Malone. Malone. Love Post Malone. Fun fact: I think that first album, the the orange looking one. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Stoney, uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, he. Uh, Stoner. I don't know. What yeah, it is. Stoney. Um, yeah. He recorded that in his basement. Oh, really? The whole album and that like, was, how many of those went or like bangers, like oh my top gosh. charts? Oh I my mean, gosh. it's crazy that he was able to do that. That's interesting. That's fire. Yeah. Dude, I like to take my mind off things completely on game days. It's so like I'll wake up, I'll get like a little workout in, like in the hotel and um, in the just gym in there. Yeah, a little sweat, and I'll throw a podcast on something completely right. unrelated to like sports or anything. Yeah, just exactly. Some random educational podcast. It's kind of weird. Yeah. And then I shower, like we have meetings, walk through, and all that. And then like once I'm in the locker room, I'll put on some music, like watch some highlights of like uh, like just different quarterbacks that I like emulate or whatever. Uh, and then I hit the field. That's kind Fire. of thing. Yeah. No, it's hard to yeah. that thirty-six hour span the day before a game, like the night going into the game, and then even the night of after the game, even if you win, I can barely sleep. Yeah, it's just it's so, like so much adrenaline, so much really crazy is. stuff. Yeah. Like even after the the win or something like that, it's just like you're you're, you're just so like so excited. into it yeah. still from like earlier. It's crazy, uh -huh. but that it's such an intense like thirty-six hours. Yeah, of like game big, and games. that's crazy because you guys' turnovers like. Every other day, right? I yeah, mean, you played, right. You played yesterday. You played. Uh, we play Sunday, but usually yeah. it's Thursday, Saturday are our slotted games. Okay. So then the Friday's a little buffer. But no, yeah, I mean it's definitely just like it's crazy, like the ups, ups and downs, and downs yeah. with that, with your energy and like you know adrenaline. Dude, and, stuff and like guys that. in the in the NBA, they go out the night before games, which is yeah. the craziest thing to me. Oh, it's not football. It's like I mean we yeah, only get impossible. twelve of them, yeah. 
and NFL 17. So each one's like sacred. You need to prepare. Right. Uh, NBA, there's 82. Yeah. So dudes is just like, like nothing, That's dude. Going players. out, partying in the club, especially oh, if you're if you're awesome. in Miami. Yeah. Or if you're playing the Knicks or something. Yeah, like down the the Jazz played. The Lakers two nights ago. Uh-huh. Donovan Mitchell was at our game yesterday. They kind of do whatever. Like sometimes, like yeah. I'll even see some guys will just like let's say they got they're in L.A. Friday, got a game on Sunday in New Orleans, something like that. They won't even like take the team playing. They'll just like fly on their own after like doing their thing. Like yeah. it's awesome. I love. I, I see. I love like being like so loose with that. Like yeah. just as long as you take care of your business. Yeah, like, as long yeah. as you're playing, doing the right take, yeah, stuff. Yeah, take take care of your business if you're producing on the floor. You know, like do whatever it makes you happy. It should, dude. Well, it's just like any other industry. Like, yeah. let's say, like you're in a regular like desk job. Like, you can do whatever you want when you're not in there. Yeah. As long as you take care of your business, like I feel, I think you could be loose with. See, that those rules stuff. are not applied to football. Could you imagine not taking the flight home and just telling Coach Wiley, "Hey, man, it's I'm all go yeah, <laughs> definitely different in college though. I feel like in NFL, it's a little bit different. Well, that's what uh, I remember. Urban Meyer uh, skipped the flight yeah. and then went to the bar. That's hilarious. That was, yeah. that was a whole scandal. But that was a big deal that he didn't get out of <laughs> <Yes>. the flight. <laughs> right, we right, obviously right. saw how that went. Right. <laughs> also, he wasn't taking care of business. Yeah, exactly. So they were losing, right? True. So if they were undefeated at the time, people would have been like, hey. And he got the chick on his Taking knee. Taking care of business Taking on care and of off the field. Well, he was getting the ladies at the bar. He had that chick yeah. on his knee or whatever so, when he was uh, married. but At his bar, too. <laughs> what can he do? Yeah. I mean, the, Tough the guy's got his own bar. Let, <laughs> let him hang loose a little bit. Jeez. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it's funny seeing like a coach because like you you idolize those people a little bit or you see them on TV and stuff. Yeah. or they're preaching you know commitment yeah. and all that kind of like stuff and then 100%. when they're not fulfilling it that's what the hypocrisy aspect right. of it I think that's what everyone's pointing out you know but yeah I guess you get away with it in a small town in college but once you're in the league yeah different it's, it's different life that. yeah so how is it coming from like Illinois is that like a big basketball state is it you live um, in a big city, small city. Chicago is. Uh, I'm like 30 minutes north of the city. Okay. Um, so kind of where I'm from is iffy. You know, just north suburbs, regular. You know, towns. But South Chicago, South. yeah, yeah. Simeon. I don't know if you're at Simeon, like uh, Whitney Young. Those are all big Chicago basketball schools. But it's yeah, kind of yeah. chill where I'm from. Gotcha. Um, but. I loved it. Love the area. Gosh, I love Chicago. Have you yeah. guys ever been? That I, city. Yeah, I went recently younger. actually. Oh really? Yeah, back in May I believe. What'd you go for? Um, just hanging out, it's trying awesome. to visit. I, I never had been to like the Bean and stuff, so I wanted to. Check I mean, that's stuff. all. That's all kind of tourists. Who yeah. cares? Like, it's just a big like little figure. I don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, just like doing all the, like the like yeah. tourists. Yeah. Shitting on your trip. I went bro. to I went to the Cubs game. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like Rick that type of awesome. stuff. Um, just fun. You know, walking around. Summertime's cool. great out there. It's yeah. So cool. It's a bit but warm, but <laughs> it, was, it was fun. Yeah, but yeah. any time outside of those two months, you're yeah. screwed, dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. Freezing. That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, no, it's good. It's good. I, I love. It. I think this. Been, yeah, there we go. Um, love the people. Chicago, good people. Yeah. Midwest, Midwest people. Right, LA versus Chicago. Overall, I don't know. I'm torn. I love LA. Obviously, you can't. You know, do, the environment's you know second to none. Atmosphere, yeah. but you know, obviously, a little bias from being home in Chicago. So. I'm torn. I don't know. It's 50 50 for Are me. you a Chicago style pizza guy or what's that like? I'm actually not a big deep dish pizza guy. Really? Um, Thank you. Someone rational. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan either. It's just too much of a mess to deal with. Really? Like, um, too much uh, going on. Too much. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, Let's uh, like a little crunch when you bite stuff. Also, don't want to eat my pizza with a a uh, knife and fork yeah there's yeah. a lot going on yeah. there but <laughs> <laughs> he's like there's tons <laughs> too much too yeah. much but yeah but no i've been uh uh i like it honestly i like a good flatbread okay the thinner it is the better the new yeah. york new so, york yeah. yeah yeah it's fire yeah so dude there's a really good spot around here uh prince street okay, it's I'll on it uh out. sunset uh speaking of porno and barstools like, i think it was one of the higher rated ones he had in uh LA. oh yeah the reviews yeah 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 yeah. One bite. yeah exactly i think it was the highest one so i checked it out and it was Fire. Fire, yeah, really, really check good. That out. There's yeah, a good yeah. spot downtown, I think. Uh, I forgot what street it's on. I think it might be called like Joe's or something. Oh, I did see that. I've Joe's? seen that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right next to that dessert place. That I, I've, Dalai Lama I've place. never been there, but I've heard that it's like a good spot. Fire. Right, big slices, fire. Really? Then, then we'll take it. I'm kind of craving yeah. some pizza now. I kind of want to. Yeah, look, yeah. Are you trying to get something? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, we'll wrap it up. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks for coming by, man. Heck yeah, anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Oh, Sweet. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where can, where can people reach you? Uh, Instagram Drew dot Peterson eleven, uh, Twitter Drew Peterson twenty three. Right. No, I'm not a TikTok guy. So. Ah, that okay. is. You saw that that's that's an account. I need a burner on TikTok. I love <laughs> I love the comments. Oh, uh, just to, yeah. I should get a burner. Just peruse. Just see what's people going say on some there. crazy stuff on TikTok. It's funny. People, it's hilarious. Well, it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with it. Good content on there, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, Matt's thirst traps are great. Okay. Um, Buy some stock. I, I mean, he finds a way to put this in every video. <laughs> what, you, you do some thirst traps? No, uh, no. Dude, I do yeah, straight football yeah, content, yeah. and he finds a way to do this Matt, every You're time. shirtless in all of them, bro. They're yeah. thirst traps. It's, it's a okay, workout. It's a little bro. slice of a thirst trap. Dude, like it's a little working bit. out, you know? What yeah. am I going to say? It's what okay. It's a little Joe's slice in there. I, I, will, I will have to say I'm a bit angry that we can't take our shirts off in the weight room. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Like, it's not even like, I just feel more comfortable, like. Working out like that. Yeah. You just want the pictures, bro. Don't, who are you fooling, okay. dog? All right. <laughs> See, yeah, dog. Look at this I'm guy. with it. No, I, I'm yeah. with it. I agree to that. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit it. I love the pictures. Like, yeah. Of course. It's a good picture. Yeah. I'm not denying it. I don't like pictures. Two, I'm yeah. just saying. The whole intent. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. Sure. Uh, All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir.